day four, if you've counted right until now, that is. I pre-produced this, so now I can't act on feedback or whatever is going on on the Discord. But I'm sure things are fine and you get to know each other a little. Today, we will tackle two-point perspective. It's basically the same as yesterday, only twice as hard, not. It's just very straightforward. So let's start the example in the background and I'll talk you through it. Just like yesterday, vanishing points are key. And now it's plural, because just like plural implies we have two vanishing points that will give us our horizon line. And also just like yesterday, everything below the horizon line is seen from above and everything above it is seen from below. Now with two vanishing points, your canvas can look a little messy, but in time you will know what you're doing and you will have no problem telling which line goes to which vanishing point. In two point perspective, you can imagine looking at a street corner from the middle of an intersection in order to understand it better and to know for what scenarios we use this. Now, if you want to draw a box shape, you can basically draw a vertical line wherever you want and however long you want it to be. And then you just connect the lines that are in perspective to your vanishing points, the right ones to the right and the left ones to the left. Now here comes a little bit of a tricky part. If your box doesn't go over the horizon line, you will see three different planes. The two planes that you see facing away from the vanishing points you have act just normally, and the plane on top or on the bottom of your shape will be created by extending the lines that you already have on top or on the bottom of your shape, depending if your box is above or below the horizon line, to the opposite vanishing point. It sounds a little bit complicated, but when you draw it out, it makes total sense. And as you may have guessed, just like in one point perspective, Spheres stay absolutely the same. The only thing you have to worry about is how far away you want to put them and how big you want to make them. Keep in mind that something that is close to the horizon line and is very small is perceived as much farther away than any other object on your canvas. Now I've mentioned yesterday the middle of a plane in heavy perspective. That's what we'll look at now. Here's our plane and now it's in heavy perspective. If we want to make this for example an entrance with two doors we will need the middle of it so both doors are the same size even though it's in perspective. Now judging by my gut feeling, I would say the middle is around here. But there's a way to construct the middle using guidelines. You just draw a straight diagonal from each corner to the other and the point where they intersect is the perfect middle of a plane, even in heavy perspective. Well, and now you can see how much off my gut feeling was. I mean, it looked somewhat alright, I would say, without the guidelines. Well, here you can really see how much of a difference just a little constructing and guideline work can make. That's it for today. The Vanishing Point brush is in the description, just like yesterday, if you haven't downloaded it yet. Now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. And if you want to learn to draw together, join our Discord. Goodbye for now, and happy drawing.